Prepare today to witness the greatest monkey sub you will ever see. As yes, the max buff tests are back, and this time we're trying out the submarine. Namely the bottom path, but of course we want to see, or at least I'm curious to see, how the 000 performs. We'll just do 200 just because... I want full map range, that's all it gives. But I just had to pick this up for the max buff test because of, well, the Paragon. If you didn't know, the sub Paragon gives this specific icon over here that 7x is the damage of the submarine on top of 3x in the Pierce now. Some of you might already know that it's not a true multiplicative buff, as in, it only multiplies the base damage. So essentially, for one damage child to do this thing, we're technically only getting a plus 6, but still, plus 6 is massive considering. Well, all the other buffs that you have over here. Not only that, but because we have a water tower, we're allowed to use Admiral Burkle, which is a, a much more insane buff than what other towers can be buffed with by other heroes. Like, most of the time, it's just Geraldo. But Geraldo can only go so far with his Camel Pot, Riju Potions, and, well, Rip Sharpening Stone. Damage is no longer, but I'm excited to see, uh, like, how good the submarine is. Because, uh, again, the Paragon buff is no joke. It might be not great considering you have to submerge it so like in real game scenarios forget about that but we don't care about any of that for this test over here i can just imagine the sub will go so much further than uh, your conventional max buff towers if i take a shot in the dark just based on how this is zero, zero, zero right now i bet the sub commander can get to around 200 based on these buffs alone definitely a bold guess considering the sub commander isn't supposed to be like a good solo tier 5 it's supposed to be paired with other subs, of course. That's where most of power lies in. But, I mean, if you just look at the 000 right now, it's insane. Most 000 towers don't do 10,000 DPS, guys. I get a single target, it's still not too shabby either. About 500 or so. So I might just dare say that, this regarding the transformation, this is probably the strongest max buff 000 tower we can get. Well, 200. And on top of the fact that it's seeking darts, so the triple pierce actually does matter that the sub paragon's giving. That's probably a good reason why we're hitting, you know, the uh, such high uh, DPS amounts of 12,000 right there. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned yet either that because of the Energizer buff, Brickle's uh, ability is half cooldown, meaning if you uh, take a look, the uptime of this Naval Tactics is pretty strong. Naval Tactics basically grants you uh, double the attack speed, and I think I see about a 75% uptime. So just think of it as a free Homeland buff that other towers can't get. And now for the triple of BAD round, there's something else I should mention and that you might be wondering, where is the Cure Flagship buff? It's the one buff that I'm missing, and the thing is, uh, this Golden Village doesn't provide it unless I want to give it a bunch of other uh, random crap, which I don't want. And I also don't want the Flagship doing damage, so what I did was I added the Rate mod that just simulated the extra attack speed that I would get. So precisely 1.176 multiplier. This is what you're seeing with that multiplier now. Still, the 200 hang on on to beat 120 round solo. Please kindly ignore Brickle's 81,000 pops. I can't do anything about it. But the math definitely checks out because now I'm seeing a, like an even higher peak of nearly 20,000 DPS. Holy. Can you imagine what will happen if we just give it simple attack speed buffs? Because Twin Guns basically doubles, well, it says right here doubles the attack speed, and then later we'll get even more projectiles with air burst and more attack speed with sub commander. Based on how 126 is looking, I have a feeling 128 gets us. I'm partially ashamed but not ashamed to admit that, yes, I've played enough balloons at this point that I kind of memorize even the deep free play rounds here. With Homeland active, yep, we are falling apart. Oh, actually, hang on, wait, how, why are we pushing it backwards now? We got to the last bend, but now it's seemingly doing all right unfortunately oh we, we how do we die to the last ddt that has got to be the unluckiest thing i've ever seen and maybe i'll do strong targeting just so that we'll get the rams along the way anyway and difference nope it's worse yep fellas i think it's time to call in the double attack speed unit nope not this time i mean just take a look at how fast that's attacking right now judging by how close we were in 128 we reached the end here Good run by the uh, 200 submarine. I bet though, just simply adding a 201 again for double attack speed should do the job here. Let's take a look. Twin guns go. Okay, not gonna lie, it's still kind of sketchy. Our called arms ran out, our homeland ran out. Let's back up again. But nope, goes a long way. Now you can very clearly see the sub shooting at like twice the attack speed. It's like it's shooting out of two different cannons at once, which it is. I never really thought about that, really, because usually the, like, the twin guns shoots one dart out at a time from each hole. 
But because there's so much attack speed, it looks like it's, well, shooting double at the same time. Although I firmly believe it's still alternating. Unfortunately, I don't think the single target's there. That's a shame, because I bet it would have done so well if it was given the opportunity to do well. Beat anything that wasn't a bad. Well, we'll see how much of a difference the Airburst makes single target-wise. I would bet a lot. Let's take a look. So this is just with a simple called arms buff, already 2,000, so doubling the twin guns. Now with only 5,000? I mean, go figure. Isn't it with uh, Monkey Knowledge you get four Airburst? Holy, yeah. Monkey Knowledge goes hard, guys. Our sub is going to get 33% more damage overall. My goodness. And now you see instead of darts um, curling and twirling everywhere, we simply just get a super massive spray with the Airburst. No longer does it twirl. That's the only, I guess, negative I could say about the uh, twin guns or air burst is that if there is multiple things on screen, well, you kind of have to angle it so that the spray gets as much as, pos as much as possible. Since technically the darts stop seeking once it hits a target. Again, you thought this was crazy? Oh boy. Loki, I kind of had a feeling we'd have some trouble with DDTs because, well, as you see, the spray doesn't really get a whole lot at once. We'll try one more time here. Otherwise, it might be time for Twin Guns, or Triple Guns. Bad time with the Homeland being off cooldown, but Triple Guns is uh, a huge attack speed bonus, so it should definitely help a lot. Not to mention, I haven't even done uh, last targeting yet on my sub for 10% attack speed. But you obviously don't want that right now for DTs. But maybe briefly, like, like here, yeah, yeah. When there's still DTs coming in, so that we get nice spray damage, and then back on first like that. How's that for a nice DPS? And now you see with triple guns, it of course shoots out the airburst in triple dart pattern. For a total of 12 airbursts going on the, at the same time, quick maths tells us we're getting a 50% damage boost, boost with triple guns. How much single target can we get now? Holy, 8,000? We are just getting started here, everybody. Again, last for this part. Uh, back on first. Uh, all mine's back up. Perfect. Uh, even with the attack speed, though, I'm pretty sure scaling means we're probably not going to survive. I would, I would guesstimate, like... 10 more rounds with the stripper guns. I have to reiterate, though, that for a $2,000 tower, $3,000 tower, it's about the best bang for your buck you can get. 60,000 damage I saw early this round, by the way. And if I have any understanding about how the game works, I'm pretty sure that AP darts, whenever the triple guns dies, will not really provide me with a whole lot. Because the most important thing when it comes to getting max buffs is attack speed. AP darts, though, only gives us a little bit extra damage. Which is nice, of course, when we have uh, no buffs, but when we have uh, all the damage buffs, it's less significant. Actually, hang on, no. Remember the sub paragon multiplier? It multiplies the base damage, so if I increase the base damage of the AP darts, then I think I pretty much get, like, plus 6 damage. Like, if these darts are still doing 1 damage, the airburst gets a plus 1 damage, which means the darts should be doing, like, 14 damage now. So I'd like to change my prediction, actually. I think the AP darts will actually survive, uh, or will be a very big damage bonus. Not to mention the sub commander doubles the damage of itself. So we should be seeing an even greater boost along with the double the double the attack speed the sub commander gets. 164 though. Ooh, how did triple guns die there? Well, one more go at it. Again, targeting last into first. We also rebought Brickle, and that was no problem. Just gotta make sure the right stuff is up when those fast DTs roll on by. Last gets crazy spread. Back on first here. I think it might be over though. Yup. Even with Homeland and Brickle active. GG. Now we'll see what this AP darts does. Does the math add up the way I think it should with, you know, the Paragon? And I think it does. I didn't quite see six digits, but I saw 95,000 or something, something like that. And then switch it back on first right now. Oh, actually, no. It's not making a huge difference. Still kind of struggles against those um, TDTs. If my eyes aren't deceiving me, I'm pretty sure I'm getting the same amount of damage against a single bad compared to the triple guns, or at least marginally better. I think it was like 10,000 versus 8,000. Uh, this is bad. 175. I didn't have my Brickle up, but that's kind of expected a lot of times since there's still a massive 25% downtime. One more try. And last, back to first here. And okay, this this time. Go figure that just a little bit of micro goes a really long way. This thing is almost surviving as well as some tier 5s would have made it. Just keep that in mind. Okay, GG for sure here though. I have never seen this many DTs in my life. 
one last try. Switch to first. And yeah, it's not even close. So now it's time for the ultimate upgrade. Extra damage. Extra attack speed. How much DPS can we get? Arn our boy. Just starting off with a very chill 30,000. Now with double attack speed on naval tactics. 200,000. Significant improvement. Now the FTTs don't even make past band 1. That's the difference it makes. Holy. I mean, damn, you don't even need me to explain it. Just look at the sheer amount of airbursts that's shooting out. To see the uh, insane power of this thing. Earlier, I did put some thought into if Logs is truly the best map for the sub commander. I don't know if Resort would have uh, as good of, as straight lines, or rather airburst locations, as Logs would. The biggest problem being that, again, Resort has that just massive gap. Also, oh, this is, is this thing really not going to survive as long as I thought because of the DDTs? I feel like the bad damage is clearly there. It's beating it with so much time to spare. But the airburst bigness weakness is those neon DDTs. But as I was saying, maybe Resort could be good because the balloons are more clumped, so that airburst could, like, get a more concentrated damage. But there are downsides. We'll see later. I am just mildly disappointed, though, that there's a chance we may not get to 200. Just uh, based on what our random spawn is. This round's good. Nice and easy. And there it is. 190. Hate to see it end here. This time, let me change around Homeland timing, so that's up for the FDATs. Oh, it's so important. So important that Homeland's active. But even with it active, though, we need both. Both attack, attack speed buff to survive. If either Brickle or Homeland is down, you can just see the damage drop drastically. Okay, good news. We haven't been terribly addicted by RNG yet. No scary DT rounds in the last, like, four rounds or so. So you're telling me if there's a chance. Like, if we get to round 200, I, I firmly believe we can beat it. We're beating bad so quickly and early. There's no way we don't have enough. So frankly, like, late game. Again, I usually like to uh, show these tests as an experiment to see what should you get in your hypothetical late game run. Obviously, there's a little bit of lag involved with the sub commander. But if the biggest problem is single target damage and bads, then this actually packs a decent punch. Although, of course, you have to like, submerge the... Uh, sub Paragon. In that case, probably not worth it since the Sub Paragon damage, like, I'm gonna say it's not that bad. Only the final strike damage is, is bad, which is kind of ironic considering what it's for. But yeah, uh, we're almost, we almost died here because we didn't have either uh, one of the abilities, but we're okay. 190 was just an outlier round, I think. Yep, 199 is easy. We're gonna get there, guys. Welcome, Sub Commander, to the 200 plus club, a club that Probably only a dozen or so tower share. Doubt you expected this one to be one of them, eh? Obviously, it wouldn't have been that before this uh, sub paragon came out. I think I saw up to 20,000? 20, 25,000 single target. That's just... Yeah, insane. I'll again still do last for attack speed. Switch it to first when. Uh, I think now I need to break this down. It's actually not guaranteed we win this. Because uh, there's a lot of damage or HP to take down and... uh, No. Unlucky. Alright, fine. We'll put full focus on the first bad and see what happens. Uh, there we go. That does it. Back on last. I'll wait for Homeland to come up so that we break down the ZMGs. And... Come on, come on, come on. That ain't gonna do it. Yeah, this round's impossible if you see that second bad. Damn, ain't gonna break 200, but that's still mighty impressive. So just real quick, as I said earlier, let me do a resort test, just in case maybe the overlap helps beat round 200, but I doubt it because uh, the resort's much shorter than logs anyway. But you never know until you try it. Unfortunately, the overlap is uh, almost to nothing, it seems. Yeah, I don't know. And it's actually much closer. Hang on. That bat is almost dead. We just have to break down this ZMG now. And we're not going to, but okay, I'll give it at least one more try. Okay, one more go at this here. Um, this time I'm targeting this bad much earlier. And let's see, Homeland, nope. It's definitely closer than Logs, but still not good enough, so that'll do. Thank you for watching, and once again, if you want to see more Max Buff series tests, then click on the end card here for more. Otherwise, peace.